Good evening and thank you for joining us. France's president has declared war on those responsible for the tragedy that unfolded in Paris. Everyday life in this world famous city was shattered when terrorists unleashed their weapons on innocent people. In just 45 minutes, they launched assaults on six locations where people were enjoying a normal Friday night, taking in a show, enjoying a soccer game, or having dinner. We begin our coverage with our Europe Bureau Chief, Jeff Semple, in Paris tonight. Jeff? Robin, police say all of the attackers are dead, their accomplices arrested. But the carnage they caused in a matter of minutes last night has brought this country to its knees. Concert goers running for their lives, climbing out of windows, desperately trying to escape the Paris concert hall as gunfire echoes inside. Lifeless bodies on the pavement, others dragged by their friends through the alley. Survivors say 1,200 people were packed inside the popular hall for a concert by an American rock band when two young men barged in dressed in black, armed with a machine gun and grenades. We all fell to the ground panicking and screaming, this man says. They started firing. We saw a door was open to the right of the stage, so we all rushed there and ran up a staircase, but it was a dead end. The French journalist who recorded this video from his balcony was himself shot in the arm. He received treatment at an apartment next door where Canadian Sherry Hansen was staying on a business trip. I think the most frightening part was the part where the initial machine gun and explosions were going off because I am in my room and I know full well people are dying. I know that without a doubt. Police stormed the concert hall to find more than 100 people dead, including the two attackers. The worst attack capping off the country's deadliest night since the Second World War. The rampage started just after 9 o'clock at a bustling Paris restaurant where shots rang out. Before police could even respond, reports of another attack, then another. The gunmen targeted crowded bars and restaurants. Well, suicide bombers blew themselves up just outside a packed soccer stadium where the French president was in attendance. Francois Hollande declared a state of emergency, deploying the military and ordering residents to remain indoors. Before long, French officials said all eight attackers were dead, most by their own hand. Several of their alleged accomplices were arrested today in Brussels as ISIS claimed responsibility, a response to French airstrikes in Syria threatening more attacks to come. C'est un acte de guerre. The French president called it an attack of war by a terrorist army, which was organized and planned from the outside. Investigators are still trying to identify the attackers, but it's believed at least one was a French citizen, while another was found with a Syrian passport. A Greek official says a refugee carrying that passport passed through Greece last month along the migrant trail into Europe. Robin? Jeff Semple in Paris tonight. Thanks, Jeff.